Hey everybody, at BV Matson here, and I do believe that we are ready to put this head, <laughs> ooh, this has been a process, back on this motor. We're ready to mate the two surfaces and get that cam chain installed. Just note, just go ahead and get your uh, engine on the T mark. That's going to be important as we go through this process. And um, yeah, I think we just got to go for it. One item worth noting, uh, make sure that you have both of your retainer pins in or your spacer pins. And don't forget these little green uh, spacer or the little seals. Let's take a close look at those. Do not forget those. Special part. <laughs> Special part. Make sure you don't forget those green seals. Those green seals were a bit of a puzzlement for me. Um, looking at the uh, Bill Silver book. He also recommends that we put just a little bit of gasket sealer, non-drying gasket sealer around these spots. Apparently these are uh, pretty prone to a little bit of leakage. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some gasket sealer in around the gasket, just to make sure we don't have any premature leaks. All right, that is some messy stuff, but I've got it above and below. And when I push down, I can definitely see a little bit of seepage there. So I think we should be good to go ahead and grab the head and get this going. I do have my cam chain already separated. Trick is gonna be pulling this all up through the middle of that deal. All right, so I'm gonna just loosen up here. This is a big moment. <laughs> I wanna take my time. Let's just go ahead and start dropping it on. We've got our gasket, we've got our rubber seals, and we've got a little bit of non-drying gasket sealant there. And what we're gonna do, see if I can get you a little better view here of what all is about to transpire here. Tripod's giving me some problems right now. Not the time. <laughs> all right, front of the motor, go the exhaust ports. Let's see if we can Start finagling this. Wow, that went together. That kind of wants to go together. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my cam chain on this side. Give it a little lift. I'm gonna tie it off right here, just like that. Get you a little view here. Go ahead and grab my other side. This this cam chain did. I was lucky it had a split in it, so it was no big deal getting that apart. Go ahead and tie that off over on this carburetor side. So that can't drop, that should be nice and taut and I'll be able to grab those and slide this into position. All right, just double checking everything. I'm gonna slowly start dropping this down. And we are to the pins on this thing. Go ahead and grab my cam chain, lift that up and give that a little bit more taut. And go ahead, grab this side as well. Pull that up, make sure that's nice and taut. I'm not gonna fall down back into the motor. That would be tragic right now. And let's get you down because everything kind of is falling into place here. And what we want to do here is make sure that everything is lining up. A little flashlight would be kind of nice right now. I'm on here, I'm on this side. Looks like I'm hung up over here a little bit. Yeah, looks like I'm just off just a little bit. Maybe this little post here is bent on this bolt right here. So I'm just trying to wiggle this in. Yeah, it was getting hung up on that bent post. It was getting hung up on those threads. So I really had to kind of jiggle it around quite a bit in order to get it. But once it went, it dropped in smooth and easy. So all that's left to do here is to get this cam chain reconnected. Now, to do the cam chain right, what you need to do is you need to get a 14 mil and get yourself on top dead center on the right cylinder. So get on that right cylinder. I've got a little bungee strap that I've got worked around my table and uh, can hold that in top dead center. And what you want is that index mark going north, 12 o'clock. And then if we come around onto our cam, if I move these, my dot should be right there at top two there. You can see it. So I'm in the right position. I just got to go ahead and 
put the chain back on without dropping it apart down into the abyss. And all you got to do is just start plugging holes and opportunities for folly. So I'm going to go ahead and just get rags in every which way area that I can to make sure I don't drop that damn clip. I don't want to drop that damn clip down <laughs> inside of this motor. That would be tragic. So get my paper towel, work my paper towel. Let's get this down in here. We can pull all this out later. It'll be nice and easy. But just make sure, man, that, you know, that would be like the ultimate <laughs> kick in the rear end, man. To get this far on this to where it's going back together and then drop a freaking chain connector down inside of this bad boy. Be over paranoid. That's what I would say. Just like that. And again, double check that you're on your top right cylinder. And then we can get to work. This is tedious business right here, boys and girls. This is tedious. My heart's pounding a little bit. I'm really paranoid about this little spot right there. But I've greatly reduced the odds of tragedy here. <laughs> so let's go ahead and undo this. It's always interesting making videos on things you have never done before. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and pull my tension up on this. Wrap it down. I'm going to pull my tension up on this other side. And hope that it's gonna lay in there. And it did lay in there. It is laying down right there. Let me give you a better look at that. This is gonna work. So you're gonna to have to get a little aggressive here. You can see right there, it's where my link is gonna go in. But again, I'm gonna go back in and stuff this to make sure I do not drop anything down in there as my big bumbly fingers put that chain together. So now with this chain in place, I can go ahead and remove these. Whew. Get my little paranoid. But we are exactly one tooth off. I'm gonna go ahead, grab my connector, very carefully insert it just like that. Let me see if I can get you a better view, guys. All right, I'm gonna come in here. And put the side plate on. Got a little paper towel in there. I'm so paranoid. There we go. That is in. That is connected. Now, again, open end towards the front. I think that's how it was. I'm actually really glad I went and checked that. It's going to be closed end forward. If you look at the manual... You can see, here's my engine orientation. Here's the cam chain tensioner. We've got directional rotation. And just like a main drive, you want to have your closed end forward in the direction of rotation. So this clip on that camshaft is going to go this way on that locker. Glad I checked that. Thank goodness for manuals. Sneak this on. Paper towel's giving me some problems, but I'd rather have it there than not have it there. And I am on there, and I left my screwdriver across the room. So yeah, and we are still at top. And we are still at top. And we can't see our index mark anymore on that bad boy, but it's there. Now that it's back together, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna fog my cylinders. Just using just a little bit of fogging oil because I'll be moving it a little bit as I'm doing timing and getting all that stuff figured out. So just going to go ahead and do that. I'll rotate it around. I'll do it again. Whew, that's big. That was big. That didn't go as smooth, man. That pin kind of caught me out of nowhere on that. So my sides are back on and my chain looks really nice and straight um, going down. It's centered in the box. Everything's operating really, really smoothly. If I can find my 14, I'll show you. And this one goes clockwise. All that assembly lube, 
locking and rolling. Gotta do valve adjustments. We're getting to the tedious stuff now, boys and girls. All right, I'm gonna wrap this video here. We'll deal with uh, the, getting that top head torqued down. Everything's in place. This is huge. I'm really kind of, I'm, I'm really torn if I should be doing this right now or not, just to get pressure down on those gaskets. Uh, we'll see, maybe I'll get at it here in a little while. It's just getting kind of late, but there to the go. Tower being built right here, just the top cover left to go, but there's a whole bunch of gaskets and stuff that, that, that get involved in that. So, man, this is a comedy of errors. Learned a couple things for sure. Uh, hopefully you learned something from the videos too. Ooh, man, um, this is actually a big achievement. <laughs> I feel good about being at this point with this motor and uh, we're just gonna keep on going. If you found the video entertaining, maybe you found it useful, I don't know. Please be sure to subscribe. Also hit up the Facebook group, the Keep On Wrenching community group on Facebook. And if you want a free Keep On Wrenching sticker, make sure you go to keeponwrenching.com. It's been a process, it's been a long time since this was put back together or taken apart. I think it was in like October or November. So it's been five, six months almost already. Turning corners on the CB77 Honda 305. The tower has been built. Oh, and I forgot to say, we'll see you in the next video or live stream.